My name is Brooke Belalavic. I'm an art teacher in Bags, Wyoming. I am not, unfortunately, no, I cannot say that I'm named after the Brooke Trout, but um, I do love, I could, I could say that I was, but you know, I'm not gonna lie. But I do love that we share the same name, so <laughs> it's just an added perk. To fly fishing when I moved out to Wyoming. Um, my friend that I went to high school with in Ohio, he contacted me and he had lived in Jackson Hole for a couple of years. He wanted me to come visit and just check it out and maybe do a little adventuring together. So when I got there, we just made this random plan to climb the Grand Teton. So we started it at one in the morning and did it all in one push. Um, the next day we were both pretty worn out, so we decided to do a little fly fishing, which is something that I had never done before. And he said that he would kind of show me the ropes a little bit. Uh, we went to one of his favorite spots. The way he actually taught me was perfect because he kind of worked off of the fact that I was an artist. He said, pretend like you're trying to splatter paint on a canvas, but as you go back, you don't want to splatter paint behind you all over your room. You only want to splatter it forward and get it onto your canvas. I caught like 25 beautiful Yellowstone cutthroat in like this crystal clear turquoise water that day, and I was immediately hooked. So as I went home on my way, I stopped at Walmart and picked up one of those little like fly fishing kit things with a plastic reel and one of those cheap little rods. And I tried fishing on my own for probably like four months without catching a single thing. <laughs> but, and I was a little bit too afraid to go into a fly shop to ask for help and opinions. So I was just super intimidated. Once I started fly fishing, I think that I, my passions were pretty much consumed by the fish I was catching and the places it was taking me. So I started to get into, I'd always kind of created these mandalas. Art has been really therapeutic for me growing up and throughout my entire lifetime. The repetitive process for me was something that allowed me to just kind of relax the same way fly fishing does. So I decided to incorporate those two tranquil aspects of my life into one thing. So that's how I first started doing my fish artwork. What I do mostly now is only commission work. People will send me a picture of a fish they catch and then I study that picture as I'm drawing or painting so that I can actually recreate that particular fish, get all the spots right, the colors right, um, even the location if it's meaningful. My artwork is allowing me to become part of other people's experiences and bringing them back to that memory that that fish holds. My boyfriend is a fly fishing guide and he's been fly fishing for a long time. So he definitely has helped me. <laughs> um, just, he's been super patient with helping me get better, but also with letting me be independent enough to do it on my own. I 
I'm still hesitant to say that I'm good at fly fishing. You know, it's just one of those things where I feel like I'm just never going to learn as much as I can. But I think that's actually one of the reasons why I love it the most because, I mean, as a teacher too, I just, I really love learning. And I love a challenge and something about fly fishing, it always produces a new challenge. It's a new river, a new species of trout, different time of year. There's just so much to learn every single time you go out there. It's a different kind of connectedness with your surroundings. Everything plays a huge role into catching that fish. 